Hello and welcome to the Touring Car Challenge once again. We've got our Hyundai Elantra and its Silverstone National Configuration. And I'm still slow in this vehicle. I, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to get faster, but it's tough. It's really not like anything I've driven before, so it's kind of like starting out a f at a ground zero. Fix my volume a little bit more. At least I'm at a track that I've been to a little bit before, but I'm still not too familiar with. I think it's Silverstin, actually. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's, like, just how the people in Europe pronounce it because accents, or if it's actually pronounced Silverstin. And so, I don't know if it would be weird if I called it Silverstin. I don't know. I'm going to say Silverstone because I'm going to accidentally keep saying it like that. But, anyway, that's beside the point. The point I'm trying to make is, while it's not the first time I've been on this track, I'm still pretty unfamiliar. And so, I mean, no excuses. I'm just bad in the touring cars as of right now because I just haven't done it. haven't done it enough yet. So... Let me just go ahead and miss turn one. <laughs> I am the number one car, unfortunately. Because I am not going to hold up my end of the bargain there. But I'll try my best. I just, there's, I don't think there's any corner here that I've been doing correctly on a consistent basis. <laughs> um, it's just a, a lot of overdriving, a lot of underdriving, and a lot of mistakes. Hopefully none that will uh, get me crashing into people, but mistakes that are going to make me very slow. As seen by qualifying lap number one. About eight tenths off of my all-time best, and my all-time best wasn't all that great to begin with. Let me just go ahead and miss turn one again. Again. <laughs> oh my gosh. This turn in particular is a nightmare for me. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. It's about as good as I've ever taken it, right there. You can see on the uh, sector right here, kind of like I'm a. 0 0.05 down on my best ever time through that whole sector. So, that's about as good as I've ever taken it. And I still don't think it's very good. But, I feel like I'm learning some things about how these cars operate. Um, front wheel drive, specifically. Kind of learning that, well it seems anyway, the flag. Getting on the throttle, you have to be kind of delicate, not because you're going to get loose and spin out, but because it kind of stops turning as much if you get hard on the throttle. I guess those front wheels stop uh, turning quite as well. Oh, let me just drift through the corner. Okay. Um, so I've been trying, instead of just jamming on the gas, I've been trying to ease into it. So the car keeps turning around the corner. That seems to help out a bit. And, uh, you know, if you keep a little bit of throttle in there, you can roll through the corner a little bit better. And it doesn't seem to hurt too much. I don't know. I'm at that point where, like, okay, that seems to work, but then it might turn out later, like, uh, no, I really didn't want to be doing that after all. So, let me, almost got an off track there, I don't want to be giving myself unnecessary X's this moment. Oh my god, speaking of, oh my god, I almost went off. <laughs> I tried taking it a little wider there, because... 
I just keep taking this corner wrong, and uh, I'm not the slowest time. I kind of thought I would be, because my first race was, you know, pace-wise, just a disaster. Because <laughs> I was just in the, I was basically last on speed. It was not good. And this time, I think it's single split, so I probably should feel that good about not being last. But I'm not last! And, uh, you know what? I will feel good about that. Because I feel like that's progress. I do feel like I'm doing a little better here than I was at Knock Hill. Knock Hill was crazy. That was so bumpy and... Like, all those tight corners. I almost feel like that wasn't a very good track to try to learn a new car on. It's because I felt like, uh... I was so worried about what the track was doing to me, I wasn't thinking about what the car was doing. So I wasn't really <laughs> learning all that much. Not that it wasn't uh, a good track, or that it wasn't a fun race. Just speaking directly about the learning process, maybe it was a little harder to figure out what the car was trying to tell me in that whole process. So Who knows? Could be I'm making excuses. <laughs> in fact, I kind of am. But... We'll see what we can do this race. I just hope we get the chance to uh, survive it. See where our pace will bring us. Probably not too far, <laughs> but uh, we'll find out. I've had uh, some good production car challenge races here. Or at least one. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Got sideways there. Um, and the Mazda production car challenge. Had some good battles here. But uh, other than that, not much, not, not much experience at Silverstone, Silverstone, Silver Tongue, Silver Bilver. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. I'm not even in the right gear. So this time. <laughs> Imagine we only got, yep, about 30 seconds left. Back in 8th. I think there's maybe like 20, maybe not even 20 people here. I think maybe it's split once, actually. I'm thinking about how many people signed up. I'm thinking maybe it's split once. I don't know. I'll take a look here in a second. How many people are in this race and how many I remember... Kind of, that kind of felt good. Kind of stayed trail breaking a little longer there, and it kind of got me through. Okay, 13 people, so I think it split maybe once. So, we are on the top split, and number one, like I said, unfortunately. We have a guaranteed spot here, though, if that person doesn't come back. So, hey, guaranteed not to finish last. Unless I'm that bad that I start like going backwards or something and finish on uh, negative lap one. Then they probably give it to the guy that didn't even show up. <laughs> but uh, I think even I can surpass that. That's right, I don't know how to do the... Uh... I think you just full throttle it and it kind of like has the right... Oh man, I don't know how to start in these things. What's that noise? It's like a squeaking in the game. What is that? It was like a small woodland creature trying to communicate with me. I don't know what that is. Is that like an audio glitch? Uh oh. Okay, we're about ready to go. Quiet, Alvin. You gotta, you gotta get ready here. Green, green, green. I don't. I'm spinning my tires. I guess. <laughs> Jeez, that was horrible. That was a horrible start. Car on your left. To the Gotta figure out how to start these races, apparently. Gotta Still there. mess around with that in practice. Just, to, just practice my standing starts. Okay. Oh, I need to be in second gear. I thought I was in second gear. Okay. Well, that was a mess, but we were not part of the mess. 
so I can breathe. I kept thinking we were going to run into from behind. Thankfully, we did not. Let's try to keep up. We'll try to keep up. See what happens. I'm not keeping up. Can't get this thing to turn. Got some behind us. Hoping they don't just run me over. God, turn, please. Ah. <sighs> He's got to run on us. Still there. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. All right. I'm not really trying to battle too hard. I, I have enough trouble getting through this place with this car, uh, with my normal line. So, not trying anything too crazy. Or doing whatever this is. Car on your left. That guy just totally Your took right. out that other guy. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Oh, wrong direction. <laughs> I'm looking in the wrong direction. This guy uh, behind us, the number seven up over there. Uh, he was much faster than us in practice, so I imagine he's going to catch us. He probably just had some trouble at some point. I want to use this run, but... Oh, someone crashed over there. Re reversing? Oh my god, I was looking at them and not shifting. Wow, I am full amateur hour right here. <laughs> Not my greatest effort so far. Oh, whoa. that's a weird way to take this corner. Or maybe not. Maybe that's the way you're supposed to do it, and I'm being the one that's bad. Oh boy, just I feel all over the place. I don't feel consistent. I don't feel like I have a good handle of the car. Well, no, that's not true. I feel, I know I can handle the car, but not, you know, place it exactly where I need to be in order to be fast. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. For example, going off track. Ah, well. Oh, hey, that was pretty good. I think. They're not quite as far away as they were at Knock Hill, so that's, I'm feeling a little bit better about that. Everyone's kind of settling down, I think. Maybe some of the big contacts are over for a minute. A little wide there, but uh, kind of still got some decent time. Stay close. Keep the pressure on. Car on your left. Keep to the right. I thought for a second we were overtaking, but... Still there. We'll see how this goes. Stay on the right. Clear. Okay, Colton. Car on your left. Stay back Stay hard. Stay on the right. Clear on the left. Yeah, that's pretty good racing. Alright. And I got to his uh, outside there, and then that gave us the preferred line into the next corner where we completed the pass. All right. That almost looked like road racing. Oh, that looks like he's going off track a little bit. Kind of spun into the turn one. Hmm. 
think I would prefer to try to get a better run off there, because obviously you got this huge straightaway. I guess not huge. That's a little hyperbolic, but got a nice long straightaway there. You want to make sure you're getting a good runoff, so maybe uh, handle that a little bit differently in the future. One thing I did do in the garage for the race is change the steering ratio of this thing. By uh, default, it's 14, but it actually says on the steering ratio for the Hyundai that uh, the most accurate for it is 10. 10 to 1. So, I thought, okay, I'll move it to 10 to 1. Sure. Well, that's, I did that my first race, too, so I figure, all right. Well, we'll get used to the one that's supposedly most accurate. Catching up to the nine. See if we can make a pass. Oh, he's drifting into the corner. I am overdriving the corner. Holy cow. I'm looking at him instead of focusing on what I'm doing. It's not good racing. I'm at a point where I can't really just feel out this car yet. I just because I don't know exactly how it feels to be doing different things. I, I don't have like a, a second sense <laughs> or a sixth sense of how it's supposed to be driving. So. Didn't brake hard enough for that corner. Go off track. Car right. Seven by. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. Come on, keep pushing. Such a strange corner. Well, the 7 was faster than me in practice, so maybe I can learn something. Follow him through there. I guess that's not a off track right there if you go over the, uh, the curb. So maybe I should be doing that. I'll push him through, maybe. Going real slow through here. Clear. Oh, get clobbered from behind. Oh, we've made it. This guy's kind of drifting into a braking zone a little bit. Left side. Keep to the right. Stay on the right. Stay on the right. Here, you can't just turn into me. Hello. Still there. If you got someone on your inside, you can't just turn into them. Clear on the left. I hate to inform you. It wasn't even like I barely had a nose. Like my whole car was here. All right, he's trying to dive it in. <laughs> I'm afraid he's gonna kill me. Hopefully we can get away from them. Only five minutes left. These are pretty short races overall. That only gives us a couple more laps to go. Just not very fast, but... It's okay. I feel like uh, this has been a really good lesson because I actually got to race against some people a little bit. I feel like I didn't get to do that all too much in my very first race. So I got some side-by-side -side action a little bit. It's 
pretty fun. Don't think we're going to be able to keep, catch this seven, but I'll try. He's faster than I am, but maybe I'll make a mistake. Nah, I think he's driving away. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Hey, look at that. You are allowed to do that. Save me a, uh, about a tenth, maybe even. That lap time was 101.86. That's your quickest lap in this session. Good turn one pretty good there. Seems like if I hit like my best laps, like if I'm consistently right, hitting solid to laps by my standards, it seems like I'm just bare I'm just only maintaining <laughs> the gap in front. Probably two, three laps to go there, looks like. And we've got that situation where person in front is driving away, person behind is falling back. So it might mean we have found our spot. Barring any uh, accidents, of course. Mine or by others in front. P8. Pretty fun, though. I, l I enjoy learning this new car, even if it's been tough on me. It's nice to feel like I'm making progress, getting better laps, and feeling more comfortable sitting in the driver's seat of it. You've just done a 102.27. Sector 3 is 0.5 off the pace. I wonder how kicking the throttle works. I wonder if that does anything good to get it turning. I haven't really experimented with that yet. Hmm, slow down too much, I think. I held on the brakes a little too long. Felt like I went there pretty through there pretty slowly. We're gonna be coming to the white flag, I think, unless the leaders are that far ahead, which maybe they are actually. White flag. All right, white flag. So we found our spot in eighth, I assume. We almost did a cut there. <laughs> All right. Nothing too crazy to write home about. It's gonna be a loss for me, I rating wise, but a gain in experience, which is what really matters. Hmm. Alright. Eighth place, out of twelve. Not good. Didn't get too many people wrecked out, so not too many freebies. You got it, car on the right. But it is what it is. That's it. We're done. 
All right, there's another flag. step on the staircase. Good job. Very good job. Another rung on the ladder to reach higher marks. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get this thing stopped. All right. Oh, there's, uh, I forgot about the uh, person that didn't show up, so... 8 of 13, technically. So, bottom half. Wow, number 3. They uh, messed up their qualifying or something, but... Or maybe chose not to, and they uh, really climbed their way up. They're fast. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what contact there was out there. Or chase... We'll get a little bit better of an angle. Okay. This is for the lead. Oh, we just got the Red Bull knocking someone off the track. That was the guy that was in first. He comes back and wins it, though, so... Trouble on lap one is not the end. Unless you really ding it up. Wow, he drives in there really hard. Too hard. That's the contact that we saw right in front of us. Taking out a guy that looks like his identical twin. Hmm. I mean, I, that's just uh, two very different eye ratings, I think. I think this guy, that's how he takes the turn every time, and then... This guy's taking a whole different approach. I mean, obviously, you gotta not drive through someone, but. Ooh. A little bit of net code contributed to that. That really shouldn't have escalated to anything more except that touch on the side. Hmm. Kirby gets PKO'd. Oh, is this what these guys are come, like yelling about? Yeah. I feel like if you got... Eh. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's straight up netcode. I mean, like, look, they're not even touching. Maybe they touch, but it really should be just a harmless bounce off. But it pulls the blue car into them and causes the mess. Really should have been nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Have been a harm this tap of your wires. Yeah. Just given my perspective there, because from an outsider's perspective, it does look like Netcode made that much worse than it needed to be, because it would have been a harmless tap otherwise. I don't know, just throwing my two cents in. Because I don't think either of those guys are on fault, really. They could have given each other more room. It never needed to be that bad. So we just got some... Uh... Wow, is that it? Okay, pretty clean overall then, I guess. I mean, it is a short race, so there's not much to see, so... Alright! <laughs> we ended up finishing where we started. Um... Too bad we're the number one, but uh, maybe if we were properly ranked based on my skill in this car specifically, we would be ranked number eight. That's what seems to be the case by the starting and finishing position. But uh, just doing some learning, doing some studying, some field study out here in my Hyundai in the Touring Car Series, and uh, hopefully getting better at it every time. Uh, Hope you enjoyed watching the struggle as I continue to try to get a little faster. Uh, felt like I did better this time. 
at least uh, kept up a little bit better and uh, fought alongside some guys. So that was pretty cool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.